Hello, skipper. Hello, navigator. Half a minute to go. Okay. Hi everyone, this is the uh, zone uh, down down down. Oh, you whippersnappers, you jibber jabbers, this is Baboon Yoda. Welcome to the show. This is uh, Adam on your host, and we've got another surprise host uh, today. Um, the greatest comedian in the um, Mount Eden area. Um, <laughs> the best whippersnapper in Mount Eden. <laughs> We got Natalie Samming hey, filling in for Renee. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not as celiac as her, but I hope I can make it. Up. She's working. She's working that money, that shoe money. That, that she's, she's got she that needs, shoe money. She's a, she's a comic. She, of course, she has to get a full time job. <laughs> That's how she's going to survive. So, yeah, so she's um, just. Uh, Renee was called in emergency to do a thing. Yeah. So, uh, just so called. you had to get the brownest person. Here. Yeah, I just said, uh, let's, yeah, let's get the brownest person <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it done. Let's get the opposite, opposite. of Renee. Yeah, exactly. Because Renee is uh, quite translucent. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, one damn away. And just all these roasts about me. <laughs> so how, how has your week been? Um, good, good, good. How are you? How's things going with you? Oh, I'm doing well. I had a gr- uh, I had a great week with uh, with comedy. I yeah, was, uh, you've been pumping it right now I with was, comedy, uh, man. I've been doing a lot of shows, and uh, well, there was a, a, a lot of bad shows before the good show of started. Course. I mean, hey, because <laughs> I did some. That's what the life's about. <laughs> some crappy open mics. Yeah, where my um, soul was destroyed completely. Yeah. Yeah. Then I had a good Wednesday at the classic. Cool. And then I had a good Friday with two shows. That was yeah, great. Yeah, you did back to back, right? I this did. dude. Back to back. To back. Uh, the comedy all stars and then uh, live, late in live. Late in live, nice. Somebody dropped out, which is good for me. Cool. Just uh, your right, right time, right place. Yeah, Scott messaged me saying, Bonus, do you want to do this show? I said, Yes. Cool, cool. Uh, I, I maintained my cool in the text. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. But here I was like, Yes, <laughs> I will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't <laughs> want to sound too excited when Scott gives you a gig. You're just like, Thank you so much. I always thank him after a gig, and yeah. it's he never responds. He just <laughs> sees it. But I still do it because yeah. I'm like, I know you've seen it. It's a courtesy thing. It was it was so great because now I'm doing some some material which is kind of. Mm. Um, it's borderline, borderline. It's new stuff, but it's working. Cool. It's uh, it's dirty as well, but nice. it's related to Muslim praying stuff. Oh, shit. So I did it the first time at the classic, and then I heard uh, while I was going towards the punchline, it was getting uh, close to its uh, uh, end. Yeah. Uh, I heard some guy going, "Ah, oh, fuck me!" So, and then my my girlfriend was in the, in the crowd as well, yeah. and 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 she, and she heard him saying that. Oh, this is not so, this is not supposed to be right. Oh, it, it, it got, no. it, I mean, that's what it's, that's good then. That's good. That's great because it was it got a lot of laughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's like a bad reaction, you got to see the type of bad reaction. Yeah. It is. If it's like, oh, I'm oh, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. It's like good. Yeah, that's, that's what the joke was supposed to make pe- you feel. People were laughing, but um, I'm, I'll see. I'll get the main reaction if some. Uh, you know the people of my faith. Some Muslims are in the crowd and see how the yeah, <laughs> they I'm, feel. See, I'm I'm so <laughs> scared. It's just, it, but that's just in general. Brown people can't take a joke. Yeah. That's now that's true. something I'm no, adamant. That's something true. I adamantly know. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't sit. There. You, imagine doing your material to your whole family. Yeah. No, it's not. That would never. You would give no reaction. It's not because they will feel that I'm telling that it's everything is exactly the true how I feel like. It's not exactly. that I'm trying to get a laugh. Oh or my god. None of that. You're telling the truth. This is how you really feel, don't you? <laughs> all the dirty things. It's like, look what happened. You come to New Zealand and now you're making all these jokes, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that is that is the biggest uh, thing that I have. Somebody told, I've told this story here as well. So I did a joke and somebody told one of the comedians that she didn't like comedians who had agendas. Yeah. And uh, I was one of the guys who had agendas. So I don't know what type of agenda I'm, I'm It's interesting being a person of color that does comedy. Yeah. I feel like we get a whole different side of it. Different. Completely Comple- different. Oh, completely different reactions. God. Or you just see you see some of these dudes that have been doing it for years, like yeah. um, white dudes and stuff, and they they have no idea what you're talking about when you were just like, Oh, that is, has that ever happened to you? <laughs> and they're like, No. No, no, none of that. Never happened. No, <laughs> never mm. happened to us to us. Uh, it's 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 crazy but we'll see how things go and i mean i mean scott like my set everybody else cool. like my set and it was great so that's that's great so really now my new night 10 minutes have like about four minutes of newer stuff which is like mean. a month old which yeah is that's cool that's yeah. good i mean i'm still trying i'm still working on my my um i'm still using stuff from festival and i'm just like yeah my writing's just oh that's what i was because i've been on a lot of drugs yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> and trying well, to fucking learn how to walk. So you're just enjoying the drugs. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the drugs. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, it's uh, it's fantastic. But congratulations on a good week of comedy. And you're up. You're on next week as well. The classic yes. Am I? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know. Not uh, this next week, but I've got uh, a full August. I got like three gigs in in the classic. Three or four yeah. gigs at the classic at the in August. But I'm just gonna nice. go back to the regular thing. You know. Yeah. Just soul crushing stuff at uh, Pits and Giggles, Ding yeah. Dong, and Lumsden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta get through. Do my through. thing. You gotta get to the growing pains to get yeah, okay. to the minutes. Yeah. Gotta. Mm. Okay, that's good. I'm excited. That. I'm excited to see you. That's uh, that's the thing that you is and your uh, agender type jokes. <laughs> agender type I'm excited. Jokes. I don't know if it's offensive or not, but if it's of, I mean, I don't feel offended telling jokes. You know, that's that's another thing. It's like a f- offense because is very broad. Yeah. <laughs> Some white women are offended all the time. Yeah. Some brown women don't even know that that's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> like there's just too much. There's too m- the the spectrum's too big. The spectrum's way too big. I hear I I I have so noticed some a thing a thing about the br- about the brown crowd. Oh, we can yeah. we're both brown. We can talk about the brown yeah, crowd. Yeah, absolutely. The brown crowd That's is why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 it's the, the the thing about the brown crowd is that mm. they, they are good laughers. They, they will laugh at everything. Laugh 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 until something is directed towards the them yeah. so everything else outside of them is yeah. fine but yeah. it's as soon as something is directed towards oh. them ooh that is yeah right. yeah 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 it's like oh that's actually not right that's not how i see it it's like okay that's cool that you don't see it that way but i do i do, I do. yeah that's, that's something that's something that they have to it's uh it's crazy but you know it's a uh, this is how we do it and see if 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 it goes badly i will learn a lesson and I'll yeah. change my joke I, I, yeah. I'm not going out there to hurt feelings you know? yeah yeah it's not my goal Um, I think it's especially because it's so early on and we're not like people who are recognized all the time so doing no. risque jokes yeah. people don't really know how to react to it no like they're just like okay cool like she's making jokes she's being kind of funny but as soon as you're like and then dudes have small penises <laughs> and they're just like what <laughs> it's like a generalized joke <laughs> that everybody says but as soon as it comes out of our mouths yeah i feel like it just cements it <laughs> yeah, and it they're like, just like oh, oh fuck. fuck now it's the truth now it's the truth because <laughs> that bitch did it i yeah. made five minutes ago yep <sighs> that's, that's true crazy they, they are small so yeah what are you gonna do <laughs> that's how it is <laughs> Except it's the truth. It's the way you work it. <laughs> yeah. It's the way you use, use your machine. It. Use it. Give I it tell. some practice. Yeah. <laughs> You've grown up. You've spent 20, 30 years God. growing up with it. It's attached to your body. If it's work it. <laughs> <laughs> you even said your own age. You're like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. It's your best friend has grown up with you. Have you you must have you must have heard like a lot of small Indian penis jokes. Yeah, yeah, I've I've uh, heard so many so yeah. many of them. And it's yeah. always good when uh when an Indian or Pakistani person is making that joke. It's yeah. good. It's fun to see that. It's so funny. But it's weird if some uh, some white dude goes up and uh, says, "Oh, Indian people are small." Jo- oh, what? Like, how think, do you know? I think he's watching a lot of Indian people porn. Uh, yeah, right. have you seen Indian people porn? Yeah, I've oh, seen that. So porn. bad. It was like uh, it's it's so bad. <laughs> It's always in a shitty. It's always in a shitty room. Yeah, a- like a tin he- house. A- and you can hear a ri- the rickshaws at the uh, outside. They're like, and you're like deeper, <laughs> harder. Hard. <laughs> and the guy's like, uh, you know, and and the, and and if I see like a. Uh, if I see a guy with like a big belly, I was like, oh, this is not gonna work yeah. because you gotta have a, a, the the line should be where. You should be able to see your dick. Yeah, you should be able yeah, to see his yeah, dick. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. also, when we were watching Sideways, it has it's to extend pregnant. further than your belly. If it's behind your belly, then it's a problem. Yeah, it is always behind the belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Indie porn is like, it's, it's like, they, have you seen Bollywood movies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Now, yeah. you see how much of work and effort they put into Bollywood movies. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, put a little, put into the lighting. In that Put one. some music, put something into sound yeah. and, and porn, you something. know? Something. And there's always cricket in the background. <laughs> I said, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the dudes look really skinny and young. Yeah, skinny and young. And, and I, th- I think there's like a whole industry out there that may do these videos. Like where blue, what do they call their Blue films? Blue films. Yeah, blue yeah, films. yeah, yeah. Triples. They, in Pakistan, they used to call them triples yeah. or blue films. And um, it's always... Uh, How are they accessible in India? Uh, especially in Pakistan. Well... Are they accessible? Like, you can buy them on the street, like, in some places? Well, yeah, you can buy them. They can buy CDs everywhere. But, you know, you can... Through VPNs and stuff, you can check it yeah, out on internet. I mean, it's the internet. It's the internet as well. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the most searched category online, you know, in Indian porn. 
Yeah. What is it? Two film. No, just uh, if you, if you uh, porn hub uh, has yeah. this list <laughs> of <laughs> things, uh, you know, and then it's got, you know, Bobby comes yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, and there's I don't know this this is uh, Indian because I I see that a lot of white people are with the step they have the the, the, the stepsister and the stepmother yeah, yeah, fantasy yeah, but in stuff. in Pakistan and India it's always the wife of the brother yeah, I don't know what the I fuck is happening why do you want to fuck the wife uh, of the yeah, brother yeah what happened <laughs> I mean uh, this is one dude who makes porn who's specifically trying to give out a message he's <laughs> yeah. like I have an agenda when it comes to my porn <laughs> I have an agenda. Oh, this it's <laughs> see we go straight into porn straight away. Yeah, this, this uh, is the problem. What are you gonna problem with us dirty Indians? Dirty oh, Indians are so gonna horny. also dirty smell bad as well. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway. Did, did you get that That's as well? Oh yeah, I've oh. got I've gotten I've gotten that. Uh, oh why do why do Indian people uh, smell so bad? Mm-mm. And I said, which Indian people are you talking about? Yeah, and. Um, uh, then they don't have an answer, yeah. and uh, and then they they will say, oh, the the uh, usually the uh, the Uber is smelling bad or yeah. something like that. <laughs> I said, well, it's just general hygiene stuff. Yeah. You know, you gotta clean your car. If you don't clean your car, any car would smell like that. It's yeah. not a specific. We are born and we go. We get a special gene of yeah. of smelling bad. Yeah. And um, the the other thing is that a lot of white people don't have any idea. Yeah. Of how our homes smell like. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. our homes smell of curry a lot yeah. of the times because yeah. we and it's a very fragrant food that we make mm-hmm. it's in the curtains it's everywhere and we we are a bit we are big fans of drying out clothes just in the living room <coughs> where the food is cooking over there yeah so the whole smell is just stuck, into, stuck that. into that and then when you've been driving your whole day yeah. and then you have a curry smelling shirt yeah w- and the mixture of that with the with some sweat yeah uh, it's gonna bring out some uh, yeah i mean it's also just uh, and people, uh, people mix the curry smell to a, a bad smell as well. I yeah, I mean, know. I got, do you smell like curry? And I didn't even smell like curry. Yeah. I was like, oh, we haven't had curry in like three days. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, where the fuck is that smell coming from? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I got that. I, I, dating was because when you're dating here, when you're younger, like in the early 90s, if you had crushes on guys at school, they, were, really? they would, first thing they would be like, you smell like curry, yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. And you w- even even if you're not smelling like no curry, way. Uh, like, it's yeah, just a stereotype. Not. Yeah, it's just stereotype. Uh. I mean, all those boys that I had crushes on, they wouldn't yeah. even hold my hand because smell like curry. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me now <laughs> at the classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, here as well. I was uh, when I was dating first in in the beginning in Christchurch. Mm. I was quite Wait, aware. You were dating in Christchurch? Okay, there's the problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite aware of mm. my. You know, I was like, I gotta just put my clothes uh, in the cupboard and mm. smell nice. Yeah. Even though I'm not making curry all the time. I'm just making curry like once or but twice in every it two weeks. It makes you self-conscious. Yeah. Some racial... St- I feel like brown people get really bad racial stereotypes. Yeah, like we get the yeah. we get the dirty, you're, a, you're an animal yeah, kind animal of. animal one. I um, mean, we're animals in beds. So you, you, don't, yeah. you, know, uh, but you know what? You know. <laughs> you know what? I think it's really exciting that we're, we're doing this together. Yeah. Is that, that, that I, I can actually finally talk to you and... and, and and just brown person on brown yeah, person yeah. about your experiences yeah. um, and how they affect your comedy, yeah. but also how the Christchurch shootings. Yeah. Um, how how was the environment for you after that, and how did you kind of feel? Because I I'm, I was born and raised here, yeah. and after the Christchurch shootings, um, obviously horrific. Yeah. Horrific time. Like I don't. I, th- I felt the air changed Crazy in this time. country. Air Crazy completely time. changed. Yeah. Um, one thing I, one thing that really shocked me though was there were people who were denying racism in yeah. this country and media yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. which was like, well, hold on, what the fuck? That's my whole existence you're talking about right yeah. there. You just ripped that out of the ground. The, the, the weird, the weird thing that you know, the whole thing was this is not us, this is not like us, and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's I was like, like mm, well, it's it's yeah. kind of. I mean, if you live, <laughs> <laughs> it's if you lived in Christ. I mean. Personally, if you're saying that it's not you, it's yeah. fine. You're not the one, but it's yeah. the people who have felt it. It's it's it has been there, and I mean, Taika Waititi said it before. Yeah, it's I mean, brown people know about oh, the racism sis- in the in the in the city in the country, and it's not p- people think that we call uh, we call racism is the the overt racism of mm. uh, somebody will c- call you the n word or yeah, somebody yeah, will call yeah, you yeah. a oh. curry muncher or somebody will call you a packy. That that is the that is the racism. No. The the racism no. it's it's 
it's it's in patches. It's patches. And it's s- patches, and it's underlining like yeah. little things, little snarky comments that you don't really. Those exactly. things chip away at you exactly. for a long time. My yeah. sister went to Christchurch when she was in high school, and we went to a very white school. Yeah. So she was the only brown person in the tennis team. She went down to Christchurch, and they went to a bowling alley, and they would not serve her. Yeah. And she just sit in the car. Yeah. While that's all great. their friends were playing, well, and I think that's that's like see, segregation type that's shit. Like, but that's <laughs> the thing is like if you and I mean I've had that happen to me here, yeah, and I've had that happen you know growing up, and now I'm I'm really obviously cultivating all these experiences and trying to make them funny, yeah. trying to be like, look, I'm not attacking you, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but yeah. well, this what happened? Yeah, I I was I was quite happy in the sense that. Uh, um, because as soon as it happened, mm. I was I was going to Ethiopia after three days Mm-mm. for my trip with the ch- yeah, save the children thing, yeah. and during that uh, during the weekend that I was here, I mean the whole comedy scene messaged me. Mm. Everybody, everybody just messaged me, messaged me, messaged me. Like uh, David Correo, Scott, everybody, right? Which was uh, Edward Warren. You know, uh, Ed Warren said that oh come along and you know we are riding together. We'll have some fun. You know, so th- I was quite happy with that. That people were quite yeah um, open to that kind of thing. Our I, community is very supportive. Yeah, and even I was here and it didn't happen. I there's like fifty thousand Muslims in the whole country. Yeah, right. So everybody knew someone who had died yeah. or got so an injured. Those are brown people in that thing. Do you yeah. know how one brown person knows that brown person? Right. The whole com- yeah. there was all it rippled throughout the whole. Of yeah, and sure. there were uh, some people I knew that got affected. I mean, actually, families that we knew their kids died. Shit. Like uh, the, um, Akila, my girlfriend's uh, brother, he used to go to the mosque all the time, yeah. and they had a fa- the whole family that there was their friend. Yeah. And I've met them a few times as well. And then their fourteen-year-old son, he died in there as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was so it it affected Fun. us all. But yeah. I mean, as comedians, we are weird. Well, though, on the second on the uh, when I was leaving for Ethiopia at the mm-hmm. airport. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, oh, whenever I'm, I'm leaving uh, at the airport, I'm always anxious. That yeah, it's I'm the gonna, airport. It's the airport. I'm going to yeah. ask questions. Something will happen. Absolutely. But at that time, I was looking at, like, a guy who was wearing camouflage and yeah. he had, like, he was bald and stuff. I was like, fuck, man. You, yeah, you I better, will you, double you better, check that guy. <laughs> you better have a story for you. I will <laughs> double check that guy. <laughs> so you always get the whole, I'm not racist, <laughs> but those Indians, they smell like curry. <laughs> Um, so yeah. That, that, uh, my uh, and then after it, it is it is a weird thing because it has been a conversation between white people rather than brown. You know the whole crusade, like, I I, the whole one, crusaders thing. thing that happened. Um, yeah, with the name. Yeah, I had no issue with the crusaders name. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's fine. They they might change it. They will work yeah. on it to change it. Yeah. They're working. But then white people are going crazy. Ah, oh, they should change it. And then the other word, oh, they should not change it. And I was like, I'm. I'm a Crusaders fan. I'm I'm yeah. from, I'm from uh, Christchurch. That's my team. That was my team when the earthquake happened and when they came yeah. and played the game again. And I was so happy about that. And I know it's a bad name, but you know, you guys want to talk to some Muslims about it at first as well. Yeah. Muslims said, "Nah, it's your problem." You guys. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, I think I I actually have not heard, especially when it comes to media, yeah. New Zealand media, to brown people who are entertainment talk about mm. the attacks and talk about the racial tension that's all the race, racial mm. you know at what hap- what's happening now i feel especially after the shootings mm. have you felt a bit of difference when it comes to the way people interact with you yeah when they i mean they 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 always in a consoling mood when yeah. when when they find out that i'm a muslim as well mm. Because it's uh, how does that make you feel? Like, uh, like take that apart from, hmm. like, if we looked at some. This is supposed to be a funny podcast. If it we looked at it, if it, if it looked, if you looked at the shootings like head on, take away all the other factors that you're a comic, that you, yeah. you know, you have a public, you have a public, you know, figure and yeah. stuff like that. So, how how did you feel as a person of color at that time? I mean, I, I felt like shit because it mm. was uh, the. Um, I mean, uh, the, it was a blatant guys. attack. And yeah, it was. A, you, they, it was they, terrorism. They were, ex- yeah, complete terrorism. And yeah. I was really happy that the media called it terrorism right at the that's start. Right. Jacinda did her job. Yeah, that's, she did it quite well. Yeah. And um, it was because the, the the thing is that if it's it's if it's a generalized thing, for instance, if 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 somebody's trying to make a political point and it's a suicide bomb or it's yeah. a, some kind of terrorism, people go and shoot up or blow up random places with yeah. there's several people yeah. but here it was 
they were targeted for a specific purpose. It's a mosque and there are Muslims praying yeah. in that mosque. I hate them. I'm going to go kill them. Yeah. So that w- that specificity, that yeah. w- I can't say that word. And that was like, so th- th- there are certain people who are thinking like that yeah. Yeah. in the country. So how do I feel about that? I said, these guys need to be taught some kind of education yeah. that, and as they need to, they need to, and the good they thing to, they need to be consuming the right things i think because they're not what they see on television what they see what they consume on the basis every every single day especially in the wops older people yeah what do they consume just like white media constantly yeah some of these racial things kind of happen and yeah. then when they when they come across a pe- person like me or you it, they don't know how to react no they they have no they have no <laughs> idea about, they have no idea about it and then there's there's a lot of brown media available to consume but people don't do it there's, there's not enough TV. funding for it there's maori tv then there's i mean there's like al jazeera which mm. is a global that's my favorite i love that there's, there's a it's a global news channel yeah and it's it covers africa and middle east quite well yeah so you gotta if you listen to those things it's like just general people living their I wanted lives to be a journalist on al jazeera you know that i wanted to be on eyewitness oh yeah i was like i was like i'm gonna do a one eyewitness people that's my life <laughs> now i'm like dx on stage <laughs> so life took a turn life took a turn life took a turn yeah no i think I, what i think is very important is um Com- comedy wise that racial kind of attack um and we are these like as comics i feel like we're these like uh you know community outs you know that we speak for a community almost mm. you know yeah and um i think what i what i was surprised about was the people being like not even now new zealand was racist yeah but didn't even know <laughs> we're just real racist here, and I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been here 27 years. Yeah, there's always. It's there. It's it's always there. Yeah. And there's like a blind spot in the sense, and and I didn't. I mean, I enj- I like the sentiment saying that this is not us, and I understood that you know New Zealand has been better than other countries. However, you can't say this is not us because it was. It this is a sentiment there it, in the country. Yeah, it has. So we it has. It has been you. So we can't deny it, saying that this is not us. You say that, all right, this is something that is brooding now. Yeah. And we got to fix this. If you take that. Some dumbass is going to be like on your comedy on this meeting like, well, if they don't like it here, they can just leave. Yeah, I've, I've heard that as well a lot because I make comments on these stupid things on the comment section and then say, oh, if you don't like it, why don't you just go back? I said uh, my only reply to that is that if, you, if you're a homeless person mm. and you buy, if you get into a new house, yeah. right? Yeah. And if your house is leaking and... You fix the house. Yeah. You don't just go, okay, I'm going to go back to being homeless again. Yeah. You don't do that. Yeah. So I'm here. This is my home. Yeah. I want to try and fix my home. Yeah. And that's why I'm complaining yeah. or pointing out it's things. It's not even complaining. It's just like if 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 at any point, like this is my country. I was born and raised in this, this country. For you, it's yours. Yeah, this is my country. Yeah. It's my own home that's leaking. Where I can't go anywhere else. <laughs> I, got um, I, I get that as well. It's like if, they, if you're not happy here, go back to where you came from. I'm like, oh, to who? <laughs> I was born in Middlemore. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. There's nowhere else to go. Ignorance is stupid because they think that New Zealand is this white country with this white face. And it's how we're portrayed as well. So people consume that. Yeah, and that's what all they see out in like in the WAPs is like, yeah. oh yeah, okay, and Paul. Just what's it? Is it Paul Henry? Was it Paul Henry? Oh goes, yeah, that dick shit. Dick shit. Dick shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that haunts. Video. That has haunted me all my life, and I think that's the hard thing is that video is so stupid. And isn't he? For me, it looks like he's brown or he's like extremely tan. No, 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 he's tan. <laughs> he's, <retarded. laughs> he's a racist <laughs> and they, they no one no one called him out on it people yeah. gave her more jobs yeah that then he got he got that a job broke at uh, every the am show yeah and then, uh, he had but yeah I, th- that wouldn't I, I will never forgive people for that because yeah. um it's funny for them right then it's funny for the white dude to be like ha ha dick shit yeah it's not funny for the little indian girl or indian boy that has to go to school every day with people being with like that dick name. shit dick shit your <laughs> dick shit ha <laughs> boy who thinks it's funny <laughs> yeah. people would like straight up yeah and uh, i don't know that's haunted me my whole life that that piece also did, did you did you know the story about paul holmes no um, i don't know i was Okay, so Paul here. Holmes, a very beloved journalist. Yeah, yeah, he's, well. uh, he's like the when he died, it was yeah, like it was the whole horrible. Thing. It was mm. like, very beloved. Like, look, mm. he's fantastic what he did for journalism mm. here. He did say cheeky darky once, 
and I kind of want to call that my show next year. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I want to do one year, one solo called yeah. Yusama Chiki Daki. But that Chiki Daki, when I was a younger, mm-hmm. um, because the Paul Henry thing, that happened a little bit when I was older, but the Chiki Daki thing, um, I was called that. My dad was called that. My mom, my grandmother was called that at yeah. the supermarket. Yeah. We were called that all throughout growing up and people just don't see it. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. now that this horrific thing has happened and it shouldn't have happened in the first place, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, and people are denying the racism. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this chicky ducky's like, excuse me. <laughs> God damn. This is like you gotta hold it back and be like, we gotta be accountable yeah. for the negative shit that happens here. Yeah. That's and true. call it out. Yeah. Because if we don't call out the pools of racism and be like, hey, New Zealand's racist, everyone's gonna be like, where? Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's I can I can show you a fucking video, video of the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah. baby. And it's um and the the thing is also in the sense that there's the two ways of going around. So there's uh, two sides of it. Mm. One side is going completely deni- in denial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other side and is going. There's the ones who will vote. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should like you should vote. And the other side is overcorrecting. There's yeah. another side which is oh. completely overcorrecting. So if I'm uh, criticizing my life and my uh, behavior and my religion and my family and my, all of a sudden they are like, oh you can't you can't They're do that. They're too woke. Well, it's offensive. I said, uh, for, uh, for whom? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a joke about myself. Yeah, it's offensive. Yeah. It should be. It's, I'm not finding it offensive yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not telling they're you. They're the ones who like have house plants and crystals and they're all yeah. like, you're too woke. Okay. That's too wrong. Yeah. It's just like, no. It's like, no, no, no. You're actually kind of racist. Yeah, it for is. For not being able to let me express and learn my identity. Well, yeah, of course. I, I, I'm allowed to say that. I mean, you can say that shit for several years. And now it's my time to say it. All of a sudden, I have to be shut up because yeah. you don't like my. You do you feel offended by what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, now it's if, if I can say it, I will say See, it. See, we're wedged in this like it's a rock and a hard place because yeah. there's obviously there's people that completely deny it, and you don't want anything to do with those dumbasses. Yeah. Then you've got people that are supposedly on your side. Yeah. But then they every time you do something where it's like a Muslim joke, yeah. or we say something about you know controversial, they yeah. will just jump on it be like that's actually reverse racism yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, there's another one where Scott you are um, uh, in f- what kind of informant you are an internal info- native informant oh god it's, it's another word like for instance you you of that race but you are racist for that own race it's like that's, that it's a stupid no shitty sense. thing that no people sense. call and I was like who what, told you that? What do you Did mean? Someone I, say that to I, you? No, no, no. I've, I've oh, read you it. You read about it. Native informant. Na- Native informant, and it's uh, that's a good TV show name. <laughs> Native informant. We fucking hate Indians. Native We're informant. Indians I'm, re- I'm reporting from the house. <laughs> my mother it smells like curry. Curry, and my mother is about to take <laughs> out her wooden spoon. <laughs> I better run. <laughs> oh shit! The dad's blocked the exits. <laughs> Oh I'm my god, back. he has a new belt. <laughs> it has It's a Gucci. Ah. <laughs> oh, big buck. Oh, big buck. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's um, it's if you talk, uh, How about you talking that, that's as we're talking our little role play. How is it talking about hidings in front of other people? Oh, it's oh. they become like <laughs> oh, New Zealanders don't want to oh, be talking. They don't want to talk <laughs> yeah, about yeah. hiding. <laughs> oh, okay. That's my. That was my whole life. Yeah, I was smacked down. My ha- my right. life was WWE until I was about yeah. fifteen or sixteen years old. Yeah, I was like yeah. jumping around like Teenage Mutant Ninja. Oh Turtles. shit! Yeah, I was like yeah, woo. Yeah, and then it was. I tell this story. It, I haven't told it on stage yet, but it's like um, my mother had one of those, um, you know, the b- plastic bats. Mm. You know, oh, who yeah, played yeah, cricket yeah, with. Yeah. That was her weapon of choice. Fuck. And the, <laughs> we were just running around doing that, and then. She used to have this problem that she used to like scratch her back and she couldn't start scratch her back. And uh, so on, on one of the Eids or something from my money, from the, the, the allowance that I got or the presents that I got, I bought her, uh, we, all three of us, we bought her like one of those back big things with the hand yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. on top of it, like a, like a like claw a on top. Scratcher, yeah. Right. And then back once we gave it to her, the next day we found out, oh, that's the worst decision that we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's like giving your enemy a weapon <laughs> yeah. um my dad was uh he used to make cane furniture here and uh, so he had bundles and bundles oh, of cane, cane furniture jesus that was my life man yeah um uh, so cane okay if cane if you don't know it's a type of um people make furniture out of it it's like a type of wood yeah um and so my dad had bundles and so he i used to get hit by one of those air was bundles. there thin oh, ones oh the they're they you know the go, smack yeah. you can hear the fucking chat <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like your back's on fire. And yeah. you're like, oh, fuck. 
And then I, I had read this thing online where um, human spit breaks the cane. Yeah. If you spit on it, it like deteriorates and breaks. Yeah. So me and my cousins, I'm like I'm recurring these little ones. I'm like, guys, we need to spit. So we spit on the stick. But what happens is my we don't break it. We just split it literally halfway through, but my dad can still have the handle. Oh. And so I got double that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, double smack. Nothing really worked. Oh, I nothing. We, uh, we used to get smacked at school as well. So our principal mm. used to have uh, like canes and uh, we would do something and then you go and line up in front of her and she would cane everyone. And uh, but the trick was, as soon as you start crying, she stops. Okay. She stops caning you. Yeah. So it was like a competition of who starts to act crying first. with tears first. And oh we were my like, God. Oh, why can't I cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was, a, it was just crazy. So I wonder we're funny. We can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With all this like abuse and sadness. So we can't. I mean, uh, it's it's fine though because when. Uh, it's it's not a good thing to do. It's oh. it's not. It's complete, I mean, yeah, obviously, completely yeah. wrong thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, then, obviously, people are just like, let's not hit our kids. I'm like, yeah, maybe yeah, I shouldn't have. That shouldn't have done it. Because when you're a kid, you're just like, I want, to, I want my parents to die. Yeah, I hate this shit. <laughs> I mean, I was like, you guys should have come up with that like 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thinking about <laughs> it now, but like I, now I'm just like, fuck the kids. <laughs> but then before I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Yeah, and it, it it's crazy. I, I still love my friends. I, I ah, yeah, them, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fine. But it was a, a crazy part of our life that we... Oh. But we, we when we talk about it, it doesn't... It's just like all of a sudden, oh my God, what are we supposed they to... Forget. Just laugh it up. My, they forg- my dad forgets. Yeah. I was like, don't you remember, Appa? You did this thing. And he was like, I have no uh, idea what to talk yeah. about. I was in wild rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't remember. You were with children. I'm like, <laughs> ah, you remember. So you can't, um, I haven't tried it uh, in comedy on stage, yeah. uh, hiding stories, but um, <coughs> I mean, it will be a good topic to get kind into. Kind of said hiding once on stage and yeah. then I got a zero reaction. Yeah. Zero. So I was like, okay, well, that's not, that's, that's a no. I might try it out. Just that story with my, um, with my mother and the, and the, Pack and the principal, the peg scratcher. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, give it a go. We'll give it a go. And my, are you, you're, uh, are you doing a couple open mics next week? Yeah, I might, uh, I might try and do it. Just um, might try something new. It's good. I mean, if it works, I'll put it in my exactly in the thing. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. If people like it. It's fine. I might have to make it's it. It's risque more. because people don't know. You gotta really, really make it like yeah. Because we do dark shits like ugh, so. Uh, I've, I I tried a bit for a couple of weeks about uh, drive-by shootings. Nice. From, from Pakistan. How did that go? By and the way, it's, hila- it's hilarious. It did go well. So I'm gonna. Uh, I have to make it. A lot lighter, yeah, see, and that's make what I'm it saying. you gotta make it a little bit more funnier, uh, really, really funny. A little lighter, uh, a bit, you know. I, I, it was like a joke about, uh, uh, like drive-by shootings in the sense that, um, uh, my joke was, it's, you know, uh, I miss my mother's cooking, my grandma's knitting, and the my neighbor's that's drive-by true. shootings, yeah. and I was like, okay, that gets a chuckle. And then um, the the thing was about. That it was so casual mm. because drive by is so casual, you know, swing by, drive by, you yeah, know, so casual. So we, we were just driving by. I thought we shoot you, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> hey, just by the just in your neighborhood, thought I'd give you a shoot. And 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 the re- <laughs> yeah, and and the real thing was that it used to happen in our area a lot because mm. in the 90s there was a lot of gang violence in Karachi, and so we would be like, oh, mom, I'm going for cricket, and uh, she would be like, oh, there's been. Dr- there's been some drive-by shooting um, outside the house and she, I'd be like, oh, don't worry, I'll take the back door and she'd be like, oh yeah, okay, keep your head down and that's all, that was a real thing that would happen and I'm just trying to make that funny because it's such a that's, weird that's thing. That, yeah, no, I mean, that, that, in a sense, that's very, very funny <laughs> but um, yeah, it, you, I think you have to Really, maybe put. Oh, I was, was going to say, put an accent on your mum. Um, I'm going to have to punch it up. You've uh, got to have to really something. lighten it up yeah. to be like, don't go out the front door. <laughs> You're going to take the back door. Uh, take the back door, yeah. That's, yeah. So no, that's, I'm going to try and do something. It's a good challenge. Yeah, I'm yeah, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> but people go like, oh, drive by shooting. <laughs> what the hell? Um, but yeah, that was the reality. What are you going to do? That's, it's, it's, that's a tough joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a tough jo- Drive by shooting jokes. Um, some like I feel like um, African Americans and yeah. s- especially in the states, yeah, like they've got a way that they say it. Yeah, people don't necessarily know that it happens in Pakistan or no, they have no idea. They don't, they don't really care. No, no idea. So, so having to 
It's like you have to do it to a Pakistani crowd first. Yeah, uh, and to get like a solid. Uh, yeah, solid. Uh, they they will get it. Yeah, they get will it. get it. And then and it was also mainly just one city. Yeah, yeah just Karachi. City, yeah, near this Karachi. Yeah, yeah, because we had a lot of gang violence. Of course. And um, so th- and I've got so much stories from that. Yeah. Uh, with with the with the shootings. But, and but you just talk about how they're Indian gang, so it's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, no Raj <laughs> don't shoot that guy <laughs> shoot this guy or maybe I should b- bring back the accent I don't like to do the accent but I, I love to do the accent and, um, and there was another thing that w- used to happen then we'll be driving um, going in a bus to wor- uh, to, to my uh, to the university yeah. and uh, the bus will empty out yeah. um, oh, fuck uh, just saying that well, there's some Somebody some you. shootings or b- uh, bus burnings happening at the front, so we can't do yeah. like that. And uh, uh, we will you just stop the bus here. We oh will my God, it's on the news. We will. <laughs> <laughs> An old lady will stop the bus. <laughs> it's like why? YouTube bus burning. And then we will just go. Oh, we'll take the other way from the other side. Yeah, so yeah. The, this road has d- the shooting happening. We'll take the yeah. other way. It's fine. We'll okay. go to school. You should so talk. You should make that into like an AT transport joke. <laughs> that's like at least the buses get there on time, <laughs> <laughs> even if they're fucking burning. Yeah. <laughs> Here we're stuck on a train for three hours if I'm trying if I'm trying to get to the city. God damn it! <laughs> because there was like a there, there's a rat there's a rat on the, on the there's a rat on the thing. Yeah. Our brakes stop. <laughs> New there's all of there's no signals. There's no so yeah, <laughs> I couldn't see the other train, so I just stopped. <laughs> just chilling. Um, I I th- I thought that we, we, what I wanted to talk about was um, the Trevor Noah, the Daily Show. Now, what do you think of Trevor Noah as a comic? Oh, he's good. He's my like favorite. Him. He's great. He's great. He's fantastic. He, when he when he started, uh, I really loved his first bits when he was very very new. Yeah. When he was doing his bits about South Africa and yeah and uh, the UK when he uh, and his airport bits fantastic and now the new uh, w- the, the the show about his mother was fantastic as well oh yeah, yeah. and um, sure. and i like his sh- i like his show as well he's, he's yeah he's, he's great. great he's a great comic he talks a lot about representation yeah he does in a very like blatant way that yeah. you would put you would think that would be common knowledge but funnily enough it isn't no it's not because it people um the thing is that people always think the things are starting now something happens they are like oh it is today right so yeah. for they, they would not think so, for instance, uh, we're going into the topic anyway. So, it's um, uh, he made a comment around. So, Scarlett Johansson, very nice actor, very great actor. What do you like about and, him? Huh? Yeah, it? Is. What do you like about <laughs> him? What, what do you like about him? I, I made a joke right at the start when I was very shit yeah. about her and uh, Muslims don't liking Jews, but she's Jewish, and then uh, me liking her. And then me masturbating to her first. Oh <laughs> so I was like, and that was a but shitty joke. Yeah. And well, I did it a couple of times. I was like, oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah. So, uh, but I like she. She's a <laughs> shout out Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Yeah. You know. And um, she, 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 she's a good actress. But she, the, the, what she said recently, uh, because she was cast as a transgender person. Uh, to play in a movie called Robin Tug. Mm-hmm. And uh, fantastic name, by the way, yeah. of a movie. And uh, she, and then there was a backlash and she she, she dropped out of it. Yeah. And then she made a comment afterwards saying that, uh, you know, I, I would like to, I'm an actor and I would like to play any person, any tree, any animal, anything I want. Mm. That's why I'm an, I'm an actor. Oh, yeah. And that was a thing. And then, and then Trevor Noah uh, made, made comments ar- around that. And I understood that as well because she's speaking of that time. She's thinking that all of this is happening now. She has no idea of history, right? Yeah. So she is thinking, I'm an actor. I should be able to play anything. Yeah. Right? And Trevor Noah said, well, that's what you have been doing for several years. Yeah. You've been playing black people. You've been playing uh, Asian people. You've been playing transgender people. You've been playing... Uh, gay people. You've been playing all of these people yeah. in the past when yeah. those other people actually did exist. Exactly. And now if there is a backlash in the sense that there are transgender actors, why don't they play a transgender person? Mm. It's it's a good thing to call out. It's like yeah. you've done that for so many years. Yeah. If everything was equal, everything was doing fine, and everybody yeah. was getting equal representation, yeah. uh, and according to for throughout the Hollywood history, mm. you can make the comment now that you know uh, I can play any anybody I want. Exactly. 
but no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen in the past. Yeah, and you can't say those things. I think it's also people not knowing that the impact yeah. representation has yeah. and the importance of it. Um, and I think th- you see predominantly white people who grew up with white people in movies, white people on TV screens here. You see a poster for like Maury Fame or any of them. Yeah. Just white dudes. Mm-hmm. It's the same white girl over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, new TV shows, stuff like that, old things that are happening. Yeah. And um, it, it, I, I've consumed that growing up. Like mm. I've got it. So even for yeah. me, seeing a brown person on screen is, be- it's mind blowing. It's, it's yeah. a very surreal experience. It is. It but is. I wouldn't know the power it would have had if I had seen that every single day of growing up. I think it would have changed yeah. my self-worth, I think, for 100%, it's my ju- identity. Exactly. That's the uh, that's that's the point because mm. then you all these heroes that you see growing up mm. are, all, or, or, are, all, are all of a specific same race yeah, the whole wow. time, right? And then you say, okay, these... Are th- and growing up, you say... You, these are the people who are heroes. Yeah. And then in in your field, I I growing up I was like, oh, why wasn't I? Why wasn't I born white? I was yeah. like, oh, if I was oh, white, I would be here. Exactly. I would be here. It would be so great. So um, Same that that yeah. affects you, right? That's and then as soon as you put somebody like Sydney Poitier or yeah. or Denzel Washington in there, yeah, it's it's great. They've broken up. They've broken a, a, a glass ceiling, and then they go. But they play stereotypical. They they would not be playing a. a uh, a role that. that Charles Bronson would play. Yeah. They would not be playing a, a role that Charlton Ryan Heston Gosling. would play. Yeah. Or Ryan Gosling would play. Yeah. You know, they would not be they would be they would be playing a stereotype that they are black. They're a black family there. Yeah. So they, they would not be Jason Bourne mm-hmm. would not you can't no but you will see if, if somebody cast uh Ronnie Chang as Jason Bourne, mm. right? Or and it, I love Ronnie and Chang, one of the uh, you know one of the one of the I dudes from that. Crazy Rich Aryans a- Asians, I forgot <laughs> his name <laughs> Crazy rich Aryans, I just Aryans. Think. <laughs> oh, that's uh, true. They were crazy I mean, rich. And I mean, that's crazy. the royals. That's the royals. <laughs> that's the royals. And they, you know, the, the dude is like handsome, and mm. he's totally debonair, and he's, and he can do- definitely play like that type of hero A lead, yeah. hero lead. But when they cast Jason Bourne. I'm sure the casting call would be white guy, this, this, and yeah. that, and blah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And so. That that that's the problem. And then people say that, and th- and then people say that, you know. But in actuality, the guy was white. The story, the story that was written originally, the guy was white. Yeah. All right. Okay. I take that. But what happens with with fictional stuff like uh, the aerial thing that happened uh, oh, recently, okay, the yeah, Little yeah, Mermaid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. It's hate. a fish. Yeah. Right. It's a fish, human fish. Right. <laughs> and um, I don't know where where the sex stuff happens. I don't know. Think about that. But yeah. But yeah, Pe- and then they, th- a, a black girl was um, Haley. She's part of the Haley Chloe Bailey. and Haley. Haley yeah. Bailey. Yeah, she's a part. She's a musician. She's part of the Haley Bailey. She's um, she's in Blackish as well and Chloe um, ba- Groenish with Chloe. I Chloe. think her sisters are uh, twins. Yeah, they um, Beyond they signed to Beyonce's label. I think they yeah. were found by her. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. They are brilliant, brilliant girls. And uh, I mean, she got cast for the voice of um, the voice of um, Ariel. Ariel, yes, yeah. that's the name, and people lost their shit, yeah. uh, saying that uh, why can't? Wh- wh- it, it's it's a Danish story. Well, fine, it's a Danish story. Do you think there's no black people? Yeah. In Denmark, yeah. Have you there's heard of definitely are Swiss chocolate? Yeah, <laughs> that's real. And pe- and uh, and some people made good comments around the fact that, all right, fine. Um, yeah, she's at least. I mean, she's. A fish, yeah, right. Anybody, it's fine. We we don't have talking fish. Otherwise, right. we will have a fish playing that. You're having a acid trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a person who is doing a voice. Yeah. What's your problem? I I, I have no idea. And then, but the pe- the people like to conflate it with the char- uh, 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 Johansson bit. Yeah. Right? A Johansson thing is totally different than the area. What's the Johansson thing? Well, Scarlett Johansson. Oh yeah, yeah Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. She did. She did Ghost, which was a Japanese manga. Yeah, the Ghost. Uh, yeah. Exactly. And then we could have but played the thing it. is that that's that's what what what's funny is well, it's not really funny. Growing up, you obviously see why people in male TV roles and stuff like that, even big romantic comedies. Yeah. Now you uh, have you seen a Bollywood? You've seen Bollywood movies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't relate to any of those people ever. No. And and then you try to 
come home and trying to watch TV here. You see all the leads are like white people yeah. or anything like that. And then when you grow up in a little bit, it's, it's like, I guess I just, I guess I'm just a funny brown character. Yeah. And I'm never going to be like the main girl or yeah. be, you know, yeah. taken seriously in that vein. So yeah. th- that's, that's how we think. Yeah. That's what's happened. And that's what happened when you, you do not see yourself on screen. Yeah. Are we going to have the Apu discussion? Do you know about this Apu discussion? Yeah, yeah I saw the, uh, I saw the, the uh, documentary as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, a, uh, that was a crazy thing as well. And then mm. he pointed it out and it was great. People just lost their mind. And I, was like, I never thought. Oh, he, I never thought as well. And then uh, and I listened to his point. I was like, well, I, right. yeah, I grew, <laughs> I grew up watching Simpsons. That was all I saw, yeah. watched. And uh, I never thought that we would be at me at 27 being like, Oh yeah, they totally killed that guy. Yeah, and they had to do it because it was too racist. <laughs> <coughs> I was like, at least you guys had Apu. I had his wife. Yeah. That's who I saw. Who had ten like thousands of kids? And it wasn't like three episodes. Yeah, you like she, she comes in, she's like, "Hi, I'm Manjulika," yeah. and then like gets married, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's my representation. It's, um, yeah, for me as, as well. I mean, the, mm. the the for for brown Muslim representation, it's always like a terrorist or some guy. Uh, that's always or some crazy someone guy. Someone who's as soon as you hear like a Muslim prayer, as soon as you hear like you're like, wow man, something's gonna fucking some go down. Yeah. <laughs> something's gonna fucking go down. And some in reality, people are just like biryani. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Or it's someone who's driving a cab with an Arabic accent. That's that's, yeah. the u- that's usually that's just that's usually stupid. the same. That's so yeah. I mean, see the. <sighs> It's the same. It's the same when it came to uh, like, like, let me talk about Nazi Germany, right? When Nazi Germany, when when they did this propaganda about Jewish people, uh-huh. that in when they were in films and things, Jews and cartoons, and uh-huh. they drew they drew them as evil villains and devils yeah. and stuff, and that penetrated into people's, people's minds, minds and yeah. it, stuck. it stuck. And now it's like this fucking recycle because well, what Trump said at. Um, just recently this week. Did you hear what Trump said this week about yeah, the woman of color? Yeah, g- send her home. Yeah, send them home. Yeah. When all, like, three of them were born here and yeah. one of them is a, new, uh, a citizen as well. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> cannot like, <laughs> believe <laughs> it. Like, what is that? That's, that's the thing. And then that sticks in minds of people. And then yeah, it they, does. They, they give, because people emulate the person. Yeah. They, they follow the guy. That's they, that's a rhetoric as well. That's Go why back he's to your the country. president. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's the president. So be, people still, f- I mean, no matter how much we dislike him, you have to listen. he's the president. So people listen to him. Exactly. Right, so uh, that that's that, and then that thing gets imprinted but in the people's see, brain. But see, you know, now, go back to where you come from or go back to your country. Yeah. That's a big, that's a, that's, that's a big thing. That's a big, big thing. That's a big thing now. I mean, it's been a thing for us for a while. A while. But for a white people, that's it. it's coming out now. It's come. They're like, have you heard, <laughs> heard the that? sentence? I'm like, every day, every bitch. Day. Every day. <laughs> what the fuck? So, I'm, that's what it is. And that, that, then you realize you're getting fed something different to yeah. what your friends are getting fed. Yeah. And so you have to really put yourself in a mental space and be like, cool, my identity has become like a little bit of a, spo- a speaking point now. Yeah. Because and no uh, one's like, dick shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Bro, honestly, I went in on that stuff. I, I had little kids in playgrounds. I would I would walk past like kindergartens yeah. and little Indian kids would be like, they were like, dick shit, dick shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, well, he's a, because he is a, it's a, it's one of the most watch show. Yeah, he's a bigot. Yeah, it's a he's a bigot, bigot, and it's one of the most watched show in the morning. Mike Hosking. TV, TV, uh, Mike, Ho- Mike Hosking, another dude. Tell, the, tell me crazy. the difference. Tell me the difference between the two. They're the same thing. Brunette, glasses, white guy. Yeah, they they are the... They, they're white they're dudes co- who think that their opinions... Yeah, and then they, they don't have a good... They always, they don't have like a one-hour conversation with they someone. Don't. I really want to have like with, with Mike Hosking, yeah. like a one-hour podcast. Yeah. And just have a chat with him. Yeah. Rather than... You know they they do like the ten minute five minute thing yeah. where he's just uh, blah just, uh, blah 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 he's just, blah. He's just, he's just venomous breaking he's just interrupting the other person yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. Uh, and then it ends because we are out of time yeah you know yeah I would love to have him on a podcast yeah saying uh, you know back up your facts back up your facts back sit, up your let's facts have, let's have a talk for one hour yeah laugh in my face when you when you laugh at the little Indian girl's face but it's not dick shit yeah. it's dicks it like Madhuri dicks it yeah it's it sticks it. Like it sticks it. No, yeah. you do those things. Yeah. And and you know what the thing is that they do them so long ago that their people are gonna think they're gonna forget. Yeah. Like no no uh. no. White people forget. Brown people keep that <laughs> shit in the back. Shit. Because you that then when my mom still my mom still remember when I called her a bitch when I was seven. Yeah. That's because brown people never forget. Never forget. 
Never forget. Never forget. So it's a, it's a crazy thing. But I guess it's... You know I can say that it's kind of getting better because we can now talk about exactly. it. Exactly. It's a part of the conversation. And don't. that's what it is. We All we needed was a voice and a part of a conversation yeah. for us to be able to change people's minds into a positive way. Yeah. And but then at the same time... And also, <laughs> I, I'm still like low key. Like, <laughs> if I see fucking boy Henry, I'm a dick shit. It's <laughs> like a fucking fa- no. I won't. That's a threat. That's a threat. <laughs> nah, we'll um, we'll have a chat with him. Yeah. Uh, w- once, w- <laughs> <laughs> once, you know, you get him on roast battle. Let me get up there <laughs> on roast battle. We'll roast him. Yeah. Uh, we'll. I mean, I don't know if you uh, po- a podcast becomes big enough and we we'll invite him to. He, I, I don't think he's. This is just blowing mind. Make the mermaid Modi. And it was, <laughs> and then from then he won't even know how to speak. It's the same thing that happened with the Maori Centre. Remember yeah, yeah. the Maori oh Centre? Oh my god. That crazy shit. The, hi, why do you care? <laughs> so how have the, how is news here that you worried that that's what it is? See once again, how can there be a Maori Centre? I was like, yo, there's not even a white one. <laughs> there's not even a white it one. Is, it's not real. It's not real. It is not real. The, the mermaid's white. Uh, mermaid is non-existent. Not w- non-existent and it's a fish. And see, unless you're see, a vegetarian, it's fine. That's a problem. Because Otherwise, these when you eat fish, then the fish can be black or white. All these uneducated people have computers, and that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> they get behind, they're like, but the fish! It's <laughs> like, yeah, but... Yeah, there's all the stories Danish. Have you read the actual story? No, you haven't. You've just... Your president's keeping opinion. people in cages. <laughs> yes. Any at a point, does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's all about the fish. Cage children. Oh, my God. Cage children. That is the crazy thing that is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... It's um, that's kind of the reason, like, of why Trump's kind of coming out because people are going and investigating these environments where children are actively dying constantly. I have a feeling he's gonna win again for the second round next year. I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah, I think I have a feeling he's gonna. He's gonna. I mean, gonna he win. feeds somehow this negative press. Yeah. feeds into people's minds who are like, they just want him to go away. Yeah, he's like, no, no, we're not being negative on that point. It's like there are bad things actually happening. Yeah. That's true. But I don't live there, so... Uh, <laughs> we got Jacinda. We got Jacinda, thank God. Jacinda. She's great. Are you knitting? Uh, yeah, I knit sometimes. No way. No, no, I'm a knitter. It keeps me calm. What have you made? Oh, is it oh I just do flat stuff. Oh, cool. I just do flat things. <laughs> just flat. <laughs> like, like a scarf. Like rugs. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. scarves. Oh, my God. Like and You should be like authentic Pakistani towers. scarves. Yeah. You should be like sell those <laughs> shit. Or like authentic authentic. Pakistani. One block. I do block colors. Like I don't mix and match. <laughs> you are an old person. Uh, but I just like the uh, yeah the action of it. It it's, keeps it's me. It's meditating. Calm. It's very meditative. Keeps meditative. me calm, and uh, then it's good to listen to podcasts and just do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, so you're an old person. Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, I'm cool. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, one of those things. Uh, but what? <laughs> we can't uh, talk about millennial uh, stuff. You're knitting. Yeah. I remember. I'm I'm on the I'm on the cusp of the millennium. Yeah. Things. I'm I'm the old millennium. I'm not the new millennium. Well, I was. I didn't grow. Up, I didn't grow up with like. Um, like Facebook and stuff until I was about the late high school. Yeah, me too. I didn't have a phone until I was eighteen. Yeah, um, I got Facebook in two thousand and five. Like probably people started. Yeah, yeah. I think. Oh my god, I didn't even get it two thousand and like yeah six or oh, yeah. seven two thousand seven. Yeah. Very very late. And I mean, I'm I am from the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm older than Instagram. I'm older than Facebook. I'm older yeah. than YouTube. All them. I'm older than oh Google. 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 Yeah. I'm older than. Google. I'm older than internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm just I'm older than I'm because it's ninety two, yeah. and it, that just started. Flu- uh, it was like a little bit late eighties. So yeah, I'm just at the beginning of internet. Yeah, I am b- before internet. I mean, uh, we had. F- uh, f- I mean, the internet might have come here earlier in Pakistan and go. It was late. Yeah, and I'm the last g- year, but I was like <laughs> <a> early adopter. <laughs> I yeah. was like, uh, as soon as the Windows 95 came out, I was yeah. like, fuck yeah, I'm going to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, the it did nothing. It blew my mind that there was like a mouse thing going oh around. Oh my gosh. And I can make a face on paint. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was the internet. <laughs> See, that's that's what it is. And now and now I don't, I'm scared when the internet goes down. Yeah, it's like. And that's the weirdest thing. I'm dependency. Yeah. Oh, okay, I want to talk about social media with you. Uh-huh. Uh, now I'm going to go into something really dark, but that's only because I watch a lot of Al Jazeera. <laughs> uh-huh. um, Quindal Baloch. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pakistani girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Social media. Uh huh. Honor killing. Oh, yeah. Horrific. For her. Um, how was it? Because I've only, I've obviously just seen articles and stuff, and I'm, I'm outraged by it. Mm-hmm. How was it when, uh, how were people in Pakistan dealing with it when she was popular? So, um, Baloch was just for people's uh, um, 
information mm -hmm. in, in Pakistan they, there's like a social media star she was kind of like on TV as well yeah. sometimes but she was kind of living on the edge in the sense that they were she, she was would doing make sexy videos sexy videos online yeah. and she wasn't you know, naked showing she a lot was of dancing. cleavage yeah. and dancing and then making suggested videos uh, suggested literally every kid on TikTok she was doing the exact same thing as exactly. those kids on TikTok yeah and yeah. then you know not even that bad she was she's like half she wasn't even barely that bad as compared no, to no, what she was not doing. at all and she was making these sexy messages for cricket players and then and it was very uh, a very erotic and it was not very tasteful as well because she mm. was a bit because you know she was just playing around with the phone just doing a thing mm. you know and then the ev everybody lost their mind the religious community that she is this and she's kind of uh, uh, the word is called fahashi like she's she is spreading, um, how do you say? It's very haram. It's a haram thing to do. Yeah, it's yeah, a very haram thing to do. It's just the it makes, the co makes the community look like shit. Yeah. Much what they thought they and then uh, her brother, actually, was her one brother, one. who's the one who go, go, went there and killed her because it yeah. was a, a bit of an honor thing because she was putting the name down of uh, yeah. Kinlu Baloch. And that's what it is. That's how scary it is. Um, he killed her over videos on Facebook. Yeah. And he said that. Yeah. To the cameras and to the to copy like yeah i killed her for yeah. facebook videos Fa fa facebook and video. now that's what i'm saying this the the level of internet that we're at now yeah where people die because of it yeah exactly so that's in pakistan it had a whole um a lot of people were outraged it yeah. was a bad thing but it was just mainly uh like the main cities the educated people were like mm, okay that that it, it shouldn't have happened but a lot of people were like well, yeah. she asked for she it. She asked for it. Yeah, so see. that was the bullshit that came out of that, yeah, that yeah, she yeah. asked for it. And um, uh, that's it, uh, it, it was such a sad thing that it's, 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 in, it's one of the countless uh, murders. murders that happen because of honor yeah. shit in Indian Pakistan. Woman, All that every day. A woman, brown woman, we, there's a... I'm like happy to... I, I, so I could have been in that community yeah. I was very close as a very religious very you know honor your family and stuff like that um, and people don't necessarily understand like why, why didn't she just run away why didn't she just do anything about it it's because when you're when you grow up kind of feeling like a piece of property a piece of shit you're not gonna stand up to the people that beat you every day and stuff like that yeah quindal did a great thing but she was um you know she did her own she was being herself yeah really genuinely being herself yeah was happy about her sexuality yeah happy that, and she was inspiring young girls to yeah. be like that very and, good and um her, yeah she was killed over over that, what people just, thought. Just Facebook, yeah. Facebook videos, and then that that has happened quite a lot. With there was a dude, um, Michelle Khan, in in Pakistan, in in the left, um, and no, I'm saying left because I'm look imagining a map on the west of Pakistan, yeah. and he was a, in a university, and he he had some uh, left wing ideas around yeah. that, and then people in the university they blew it up saying that he's doing blasphemy and blasphemy and blasphemy, right. and then he was murdered like by the by the crowd so he was in his room he was dragged out beaten up beaten up by his fellow students yeah killed be because of the charges of uh, blasphemy that he said something and um because he had just some he wrote some poetry around mm. uh equality and he mm. and you know he was kind of philosophical about the religion yeah and he was not really strict about the religion yeah and then he got he got killed for your for his just opinion for his opinion for comments on facebook yeah for comments on facebook he, he got killed it's right crazy. and that's why i feel in in social media we always we should think about blaming or can, trying to cancel someone. I mean, the few people need to be, you know, canceled, Genuinely canceled. right? But we should. Wh whenever this mob thing happens, yeah. it scares me. Mob I mentality like, is. If, I mean, one step ahead of it, I have a people, a group of people outside my house dragging me out and killing yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one. That's the next step yeah. when. Um, there were journalists and everything like that. This happens the uh, so journalists, much. Blog bloggers in in yeah. Bangladesh, you write something against the religion. People hack you to death. They hack you on the street, broad uh, daylight. On the street, and there's no, there's no support from the justice system or the police and all, all that stuff. So that no. that that the, so that relates to the Muslim stuff that happened just here. Yeah. Um. So when some people, uh, you know, every, you know, the hijab con uh, conversation came back when everybody mm -hmm. was wearing hijab. Mm -hmm. It was a very good thing. But a, a few Iranians and a few Pakistanis they said. 
fuck man we're fighting against this in pakistan so mm. kind of just it's just a bit weird uh or pakistan or iran because we are forced to do this yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. so but here uh, and then all of a sudden the left the far left one they they went like oh you don't know blah, 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 uh, that we gotta do this and so mm. people try so all the nuance is just reserved for the people in the western cultures so yeah. they will understand the nuance and stuff but people who live in the east or in developing countries it's all black and white yeah all the muslims wear hijab it's not like oh you know some people wear some people don't wear no, some no. people hate it some people don't like There's it some people are fighting against it some country free, are forcing free will it well is uh, very rare yeah and people get ki- people get killed people get killed for removing there were honor their killings. Hijab. There were honor killings, not just in India in areas. It, in the UK, there was a big spike. India, India as well. India, yeah. is India, huge. Australia. Pe- yeah. People, people come over here, and then uh, not in New Zealand, but people come over to other countries, and they bring their wives and stuff like that, and then they treat them like they treat them in in India and Pakistan, which is wrong anyway. Anyway, yeah. And so when they come here and and then the women don't have anywhere to go and when they start to realize, oh, wow, we can have an opinion and we can have freedoms yeah. and stuff like that. People, any human would take advantage of that. Yeah. And so as soon as they start to get a little bit westernized, some people get killed over it. Yeah, that, that happens. I mean, Canada, honor killings. That's not what we do. Killings. What we do is yeah. so rare. We got it. Yeah. The fact that we can stand on a stage, yeah. say all these things, yeah. and still go home safely at home. Yeah. Oh, well, my parents don't know I do comedy. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, my parents, they know, yeah. but my dad's just like, I hope you're doing it not dirty. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, dad. Um, I never answered that question. Yeah. But I, I know for a fact, my, my father was one of the, it's cause especially being born, to, coming to this country, mm. he did that specifically to when he was raising his daughters, me and my sister, he focused on us getting an education yeah. and having a good job. Uh, cleaning dishes and stuff like that and housework and stuff like that. He's like, that you learn that when you're older. Yeah. You learn to do that independently and learn. Uh-huh. That is not your sole purpose in life. Yeah. So I'm happy that I was able to have that sort of guidance instead of, you know, yeah, being I'm like, you need to be married by now. What? Yeah, I'm so happy that I'm here because mm-hmm. I worked most of my life yeah. to get out I, because I was feeling claustrophobic yeah oh you gotta pray and you gotta do this and you gotta do this and you gotta do this and it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like a what I don't I can't you're I can't also handle very this. observant and I think that's comics as well we're very yeah. obs- observant of our yeah. environments because yeah. that's how we be funny yeah and if environment is negative and it's constantly like battling itself yeah. you're not gonna be able to be funny or think clearly yeah. and um, and you're exactly right we are observant and it's mm. our job to Comics. As, as comics to come out and say these things so I, I should be able to talk about the drive-by shootings and, yeah. and uh, the how my family is conservative around uh, you know um, ar- around hijab and stuff they yeah. are quite conservative I'm not I told yeah. actually I told my mother that I'm never going to marry a person who, who wears, wears a hijab who wears a hijab because um, uh or who wears a hijab because you tell her to wear the hijab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can wear it herself if you yeah, want. Yeah, she wants to. Right? But I want, don't want someone because... Because is your partner, she's Muslim, eh? Yeah, yeah. She's, she, she's she, like me, but she's like, eh, you know, semi... Like, know, just ba- chill. Bacon's good. Just a chill Muslim. Yeah, a bacon alcohol. Um, does she wear... All of that stuff. Does she wear... Will she, will she have to wear one for the wedding? Um, yeah, she would have to cover her head mm. for the wedding. Mm. and But she's not going to... I think hijab's beautiful. It's great. There's some mean ones. That there's some some girls put like like proper like patterns and stuff. Yeah, I'm jealous. some of some of it is great. But jealous. um, in my in my home, I feel like you know my 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 vi- my my wife, my brother's wives. I've never I've never seen them. Mm. I have never met them, or really? I, yeah, I've never because they 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 Hide. do the strict one. Oh, so they, they are hiding in the Do house. they have the well, it's cuz it's not niqab this is different isn't is that niqab? The they, she she does the the whole niqab thing the whole oh, thing wow. with the black glasses. Yeah yeah yeah. Right so and she was my cousin. She I grew up she's my little cousin. So she you grew know up, what she looks like. Yeah and yeah. I know what she looks like and now she doesn't ever ever talk to me as well. So Aww. so this, uh, that's why I said that I don't want any of that in my family. Yeah. I want someone who's on a you know even keel don't push me into religion so you, or anything yeah just live my i am just want to live my life so your brother buying are, groceries yeah and eating bacon that's all yeah I yeah, yeah yeah so your brothers they've you've got quite a strict strict they're very strict. strict they 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 tell me stuff to do as well i was like just shut the fuck up yeah they tell you to tell you to tell her what to do 
No, they they will they will, but yeah. I will tell them to. But Fuck they off. they have no idea about her. Oh, they, my family doesn't know that we live together. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> now they do. Uh, no. <laughs> um, they're not listening to this. Oh, I might have to edit that out. What's your <laughs> uh, does your brother does he live here? No, they're in Pakistan. Oh, okay. They're all in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's yeah. Pakistan. I'm, I don't encourage them to come here. Yeah. So <laughs> they were just like, want to be free? Uh, so they, they, they want to... So he, he tells me a lot, you know, I got to you know, pray, I got to do this, I got to do that. Yeah, yeah, And I was see, like, nah, don't tell me that. Shut the fuck up. I'm your older brother. You know me. And then the they're like... Were yeah, the okay. younger ones are telling you to do this? Yeah, they were both younger ones. What? And uh, I was like... So why did they kind of... Well, not in a bad way, but you kind of were like took the suggestions of the strictness as a suggestion. Yeah. And they kind of followed the rules and did everything. Why do you yeah. think that, ha- that, why do you think that was? Well, every human is a different thing because they, they, they went through the whole thing in, in college in in university around doing all, all the stuff, you know, smoking this and doing that and yeah. the whole thing. And all of a sudden you become like a born again thing. You yeah. watch a lot of YouTube videos and all of a sudden you, you know, you have God in your heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it was like a constant battle. Battle, you know. It's like it was always an even keel. Just I am. I'm just okay. I I can't do this. I don't do that. I don't do that. I I never went extremes. Yeah. So so I never got like a born again thing because I was like you know I there's I I I've never uh, you know went back and forth with something. Yeah. yeah. So I knew uh, I was I'm sim I'm a similar guy. As I was in university, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. not extreme party guy. Yeah, and now I've all of a sudden become really non-extreme. Yeah. I was the same similar kind of guy then, and now I'm the same kind of guy. Yeah, but they, it's they you learn. You but learn. they had like extremes, you know. Constantly. So that's what happens with the, some guys have these personalities. You yeah, know? A, a lot, a lot of that happens with uh, a lot of alcoholics as well. So you, you're extreme alcoholic, and then you just nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that happens as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're constantly Depends evolving as an as a person as well exactly. so yeah some people are just like that at the moment and yeah. then they, their minds will change or if they won't change yeah. but reality is as long as you're happy yeah as long it's, as I'm that and is, it's this, none of anybody else you know, this this makes me happy and then and uh, some people have actually told me that why did you it's kind of it's kind of racist to say that you, you you wanted someone that who didn't wear the hijab I said no that was not my main point. My my point was I want someone that I will find. Yeah. I don't want you to find someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will find someone who is just who who who's just completely uh you know, just like a like a Lego block. How did you guys meet? Tinder. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just be, you're like, I really want to find somebody who just fits me with Tinder. Yeah. No, well, it's like the first person who matched I just oh, oh, that, let's, let's, that, that's let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been together now? Three years? Uh, five years. Five years. Okay, that's yeah. a long time. Five years. And how did you propose? You didn't tell me that. Well, but there's no, uh, I mean, in, in Pakistan, there's no uh, Western style of uh, proposing. You're, you're an Indian man. You so just you can't keep saying, see, as soon as it comes to engagement, guys are like, but in Pakistan, it's different. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, I mean, we, within, the, you know, two, three years, it was like kind of understood that we we're going to get married. And then it, just my parents visited and it so was wait how were you understood you're gonna get married like because we started talking about marriage okay <laughs> 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 <I'm talking about. laughs> so i started talking about marriage and I then was so you so you didn't like be like hey i think i want to marry you no it was not a like a one spot and then there are yeah and i hide brown my, people do that man this is how brown people talk this is me and yeah. my partner talk as well yeah i was like do you want to have kids yeah should we do it now it's, it's, it's there's no surprise money. on a mountain and yeah you know, there's no 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 it's no, too no. much we have to mentally prepare it's because you got to get your pa- your family needs yeah, to be on board yeah, it has to be a small process it's a transition it's a slow process yeah yeah so then my, i had to bring my parents here and then i had to move her out and oh, then shit. where did she stay some airbnb oh god <laughs> <It's like laughs> and then uh, <laughs> then i took the parents to her parents who live in dunedin mm. they met and and then they liked the they liked the family and mm. then so i had to orchestrate in such a way that um it everybody is on board yeah i didn't want i didn't want to be like oh i'll tell the i'll tell the truth i'll fall the truth Truth will bring me trouble. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. I want to reach my final goal that I want to be with her and we'll yeah. get married. Whatever leads me to that, I'll yeah. do. I'll do. So I'll, yeah. there's a web of lies. So and you, yeah. you Do you want kids and stuff? Is that what you guys talked eh, about? We'll see. How old is your partner? Uh, 29. Okay, yeah. 30, I think. Yeah. 30, yeah. yeah. Oh, she turned 30. She turned 30 next year. Next year? Yeah. Okay. Well. So, yeah, that's... Uh, 
That's what it is. Look, it's at, you, like, you, look at you. You're not even like a smitten about it. You're just too cool. It's, well, you can't even do it. But I bet you when you're with her, you're like, oh, baby, I love you so much. I mean, we didn't even want to eat, but we, we had to do the whole thing because everybody wants to get us. Everybody wants to. It's you it's s- not legalized you can't in my parents yeah, or yeah, family's yeah, yeah, mind yeah, yeah, until yeah. we are. It's just we're too much a hassle. Ma- we're living a married life already. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So it's too it's much of a hassle constantly getting into the Airbnb because you can't tell your parents. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like, okay, we can just uh, let's just. That is down. so. Li- is that your train? Yeah. <laughs> there, there it goes. <laughs> It's nice though. It's it almost nice. nice, but this is what I'm saying. AT transport. Look at that train. <laughs> they just changed that, and it yeah. sounds like someone's fucking like <laughs> killing yeah, somebody. It's, it's like that. that some, somebody's coming yeah, with yeah, a yeah. screeching sound with yeah. a big knife. It's fucking yeah. scary. But uh, our system is such that it doesn't I'll pick it up. It oh, good. So you just heard me go. <laughs> 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 oh, that's nice. All right, where are we at? Holy shit, we're like one hour ten minutes. Okay. Okay. So. What's um what's happening? Where I'm are you at? Up. What's your uh, what's your what's your social media? Ooh. What's your what's your what's your gigs? What's your but what gigs? You know what? But I've got I've got a couple gigs at the classic. Not too many. I've uh-huh. only got like two more uh, in August. So hopefully I get some more coming out. Yeah. Um, New Zealand Fashion Week's coming up, and I'm walking fashion show. Um, what are you walking? I'm walking in are for. You wa- are you walking with I'm, a cane? I'm walking with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I barely even walk. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I got I got asked to do a um, fashion show for a woman of color who's trying to diversify her um, clothing brand. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, a couple. It's just yeah, it's just me. I think me. I'm the only comic doing it. Does so she wa- does she want like a man of color guy? Yeah, they've already got strut. one. See, strut. <laughs> strut, strut your stuff. Oh. They've already got the other brown guy. They yeah. can't have two brown guys. They got the other one. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, no. So that's gonna be exciting. That's in New Zealand Fashion Week. So hopefully I'll post that up on my. But yeah, Instagram. Um, I'm writing more stuff and mm-hmm. hopefully you see me gig around Auckland but and maybe back on Baboon Yodel baby. yeah back on Baboon Yodel yeah, so yeah thank you have, thank you for having me back yeah so uh, much fun it was fun it was fun mm. it was like I mean it's I mean you said that it's a funny one but it's I mean I've had we've had serious podcasts yeah. before because I had it with Keegan Gorman we had a whole two hour session of um, uh, serious stuff it's fine it's just a thing that people understand and, uh, we, d- we talk important <laughs> shit important I stuff I think people of color when they talk is important because we have all these things we can't say to white people yeah we just have to talk we to, have to each talk other to each other we're like yeah. hey man underground <laughs> Because the thing is that if you do mention these things, so there's no there's no reply. There's no there's reply. No re- they're like, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, keep talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's like an offload, and you're just like, oh my god, how do I how do I make this funny? What do I say? Uh, we have small dicks, <laughs> and then like move away from it. Yeah. Oh, Uber drivers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, awesome. and guys, you should uh, yeah follow us. Uh, send us some. Uh, nobody send us any hate mail. We we need some hate mail. Some say, something some say something controversial. Say something controversial right now. Yeah. Yeah. Say something. Say, say I do. Okay. All right. So samosas uh. are the worst thing invented. Yeah. Is that controversial? Ve- veggie samosas or meat samosas? A veggie samosas. All oh. samosas should be meat samosas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard a crowd downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna kill us. Yeah. So yeah, that's if you like veggie samosas, send us some hate mail. And uh, if you yeah. like lamb samosas, hit me up. Yeah, yeah. Me- message Natalie on uh, <gasps> Instagram. What's the Instagram? <laughs> At Natalie. Natalie underscore Sami. Yeah, that's uh, easy. Instagram is easy. That's straightforward. Easy. Straightforward. Um, yeah, follow me. Joe Damon has 3,000 people following him now. Yeah, because he does these videos. Oh, every day. Yeah. yeah I, I, got I don't know. He's much. charming and then uh, he's he's a sel- he has a self-confessed big dick as well. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I people like it. Have you seen dick. it? People like big dick. Have you seen it? No, he I talks about it, it so much that I feel like I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just turned into what? <laughs> so I've got an imaginary image of uh, Joe Damon's dick. I mean, that's what, that's all the women that come and see him. <laughs> that's his brand. That's why he's got 3K followers. <laughs> oh. If we can get 3K followers Follow. for yeah. our small Indian dicks. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a dick pic to myself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then I'll block myself. <laughs> What's up? And then I'll block myself and report myself. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, cance- yeah. cancel myself. <laughs> Too woke. Too woke. Awesome. All right, peoples. That is Thank you it. so much. Baboon Yodel everything. And we are on everything. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Bye.